Tattoos are a lot like marriage. People do change their minds, but like divorce, tattoo removal can be messy, painful, expensive, and sometimes leave a scar. In a special report, TV20's Corey Levitt shows us the options and cost of changing your mind. Tattoos are forever. But what if you decide your ink stinks? You think that you know everything at 16, but you don't. And she was right. When I was 30, when I was 18, I regretted it. But it was too late. A tattoo can be a reminder of a youthful mistake, as it was for 31-year-old nurse Lindsay Leska. Or you might just want to change, like 26-year-old esthetician Paige McKenzie. Okay, well, I tried this. It didn't quite work out. And I have, you know, the advantage of being able to remove it. Slowly but surely. There are over the counter products that promise to erase tattoos, but most doctors agree changing your mind will either take the pop of a laser or the slice of a scalpel. I can't even tell you how many times I've had somebody who had a tattoo yesterday and they want it gone today. It doesn't work that way. Um, typically, you're looking at around a year commitment to remove a tattoo. The average tattoo takes 12 treatments, spaced out every four weeks. Each treatment costs between $75 and $300, depending on size. 16 laser treatments in, Mackenzie is happy with her results. It just feels warm. Um, it's really more of kind of a, just a, a dull ache, but nothing unbearable. Lasers have come a long way, but the results still vary from person to person. Staying out of the sun during treatment is essential because the laser targets darker pigments. And speaking of colors, the hues in your tattoo also affect removal. So I wish I could put a little poster outside when people get tattoos of don't get yellow. <laughs> um, Try to not have the you know, big, thick lines of ink. Those take a, a lot. And like coloring in an entire tattoo, that's a lot of ink. It takes a lot to get it out. Dr. Erica Canova says red and black come out well. And although blue and green are more of an issue, newer lasers are able to target them. With time and money in mind, Leska chose a two-step surgical process to remove the green four-leaf clover that once adorned her stomach. He said, you know, this is, we can do this, but we're going to be trading a tattoo for a scar. And for me, that was okay because I felt as if I already had a scar, a big green scar on my stomach. As a Miss America pageant contestant, Leska covered the tattoo with makeup. Two minor surgeries, 40 stitches, and $1,500 later, she's very happy with her steadily healing scar. It should change from pink to, you know, more flesh toned. Uh, tattoo can be removed as though it were a mole, and then a few stitches are placed uh, in the skin to close the skin. Those uh, stitches are usually removed at about five days. Uh, we'll put a little tape on the skin. Dr. Richard Sato says surgery is not an option for some larger tattoos, and placement is key. Often patients choose to remove the tattoo as part of another cosmetic procedure, like a tummy tuck. Part of the normal healing process. Here you see we're very flat and thin. And With surgery or laser removal, you have to be patient. No matter the method, it's going to cost you more pain and money to remove a tattoo than you spent to get it in the first place. But I just feel like if it's something you really think that you want, wait a couple years. Really think about it. Just do your research because it's, it's permanent relatively. So, or it's going to be really expensive. And that can leave a mark. Corey Lovett, TV 20 News.